We are starting off with Taylor Swift. Uh, Jacqueline is our resident Swifty. She's been listening to this album all morning long, and she is in the newsroom with everything that you need to know, whether you're a diehard fan or just a casual listener, or you just like to know what's going on in pop culture. So, uh, Jacqueline, uh, I know you took some time. To, did you get through all 31 songs this morning? You know what? I think I only have, like, a handful of them left. Surprisingly, I was able to get through most of them. I don't know whether to be embarrassed or embrace uh, my new, my new uh, title as resident Swifty, but nonetheless, uh, the first thing you need to know about the Tortured Poets Department is that it is not one album, but two. This was huge news this morning. Part one dropped right at midnight, as expected. But then at 2 a.m., Swift shocked her fans by announcing that it was actually a double album. So we are talking 31 songs here in all, a two-hour runtime. The first single is called Fortnite. It features a collaboration with Post Malone. The video for that will actually drop tonight, which is really exciting. Take a quick listen to it. I was supposed to be sent away, but they forgot to come and get me. I was a functioning alcoholic till nobody noticed my new aesthetic. All of this to say, I hope you're okay, but you're the reason. Now, fans expected the album to be all about the breakdown of Taylor's relationship with longtime lover Joe Alwyn, and it delivers. But the scathing lyrics also appear to target her spring rebound, Maddie Healy, the lead singer of the 1975. The album also features collaborations with Florence and the Machine and a prologue written by Fleetwood Mac legend Stevie Nicks. Taylor also posted a message about the album to fans on social media, noting that the album is an anthology of works that reflect events, opinions, and sentiments from a fleeting moment in time, one that was both sensational and sorrowful. She says that period, that period in her life is now over, though. There's nothing to avenge, no scores to settle. She also says many of the wounds that she suffered were self-inflicted, and once we have spoken our saddest story, we can be free of it all. Now, uh, we have our Swifty squad here to bring it all together. And uh, let me tell you, this is my only time I'm going to be able to talk about this for the rest of the day because once I get home, my fiance is going to banish me from the apartment if I bring any of this nonsense in there. So we're going to talk about it here because I got my Swifty girls here. And we, uh, we've been talking about this for the past couple days. We've got Bragg and Sylvia and Haley. Oh, I have a whole <laughs> chair. There you go. So it's a, we're, we've assembled. It's a all ball. right, guys. Uh, there's a lot to break down here. I even have notes because there's just oh, so much okay. here. Okay, who wants to talk a little bit about the surprisal of the amount of songs for Joe versus Maddie Healy? Here we were thinking this was a Joe album and then there's a lot of uh, digs at Maddie Healy as well. Who wants to go first? I mean, I think there's digs at him. It's mostly Joe. There is digs at him, but there's also digs at former faux friend female people. Mm -hmm. There's also digs I'm sure there's probably a dig at John Mayer in here somewhere we haven't found yet, but it's mostly Joe. Okay. What do you think about p potentially that one song, The Alchemy, being about uh, Travis yeah. Kelsey? What do you think? Do you think that's true? Or oh, do you think it's somebody else? It's all football references. <laughs> it's definitely about Travis. I was glad he got a song on the album. I was glad she had time to put one on there for him. Um, but yes, I was surprised about how many were for Maddie since that did seem like such a short-lived relationship, but obviously something that made a mark. Yeah. yeah, and there was another song that seems to kind of throw some shade at Kim K as well. You know, I was hoping that she would ask me that <laughs> because I just feel like she emptied out her whole entire diary and the fact that she's like the only people that will know about this are me and you yeah. and your daughter is going to come home singing it? If North? you've seen the video, you know the video we're talking about on TikTok, Literally, right? Literally, like, you have to listen to this album and have the lyrics out because mm -hmm. she's really saying a lot. So I feel like, for me, if you're not a Swifty, you weren't really getting some of the references throughout it. And so for us, it was glorious. But what do you think about other people? And how do you feel about the album? Well, like, I am not, like, a diehard Swifty. It's probably you, you two. But, like, I think, like, so high school. Like, mm -hmm. she's obviously taking a jab at someone that she knew in high school and that was a bully or something. But, like, we all can reference that. We all can be like, oh, I had that moment. Or, like, oh, this was my first boyfriend in high school. And yeah. we did that. Or it's like, oh, wait, we hung out with your friends playing Grand Theft Auto. Right. Like, <laughs> it's, anyone can reference certain songs. There are songs where you're going to be like, I don't know what the meaning of this is. I don't right. understand. This girl's so heartbroken. I feel bad. 
<laughs> but then there's other ones you can, you okay. can totally relate to. Uh, can we quickly do top three, Haley? Okay, I like Down Bad, I like So Long London, okay. and I like, I'm trying to think, I like The Alchemy, I'll put that as number three right now, but that was only after one listen and only to the first of the two albums. We still have a lot of listening to do. What about you? Top three, you got Okay, anything? The Tortured Poets Department, okay. um, so high school, they're just very nostalgic to me, and now that I know that she's taking shots, I have to respect, thank you, Amy. Okay, <laughs> what about you, quickly? Okay, I have a list. Um, <laughs> Florida, you Red, have, have some respect, Peter, it's on the second part of the album, and The Black Dog. Okay, there you go. And we know uh, producer Chris, he told me he liked Fortnite uh, with Post Malone. That's what he's been mentioning. But guys, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Let me know what your top three are today. I know Marissa and I have been talking about it yeah. a little bit. I, like I can do it all with a broken heart in Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Those are probably my top two. I like Fortnite too. I, I felt sad. I went up to Jacqueline's desk actually after I heard, but daddy, I love him. I'm like, That's okay, wait a minute. Who yeah. hurt her? <laughs> Who went when, where? <laughs> Why? Yeah. And way to go to Post Malone too. I mean, he's yes. featured on her album as well as Beyonce's yeah, Cowboy yeah. Carter. So he's having quite the month but as you can imagine social media has been flooded with reactions reviews and some brands even jumping on the taylor bandwagon with some sepia tinge tweets uh duncan posted this one with the caption now i'm down bad crying at the gym <laughs> with a picture of the drop drake and miriam webster posted a picture of a tortured poet's dictionary saying quote your department may need this <laughs> Mm. <laughs> That's very cool. I really still, you know, I, listen, my, my favorite song on the album is uh, Bad Blood. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, we're going to put you in the corner. We're not going to hang out. You're going to hang out after that see, one. It's okay, Steve. You, you can take the weekend you to, to listen yeah, to her you, new you, music. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, that's shake know. it off. Take it off. I'm still there. All know? too well, 10-minute version of that was incredible. I have, a, I have a confession for the rest of us. Yeah. Uh, not only do I not know one song from this album, I can't name one Taylor Swift song of all time. I don't know oh. any. And here's you the thing. Name one? Here's the thing. I'm with you. If Taylor Swift found out I liked her albums, then they wouldn't be cool anymore. That, so no, it's important no, that no, I don't cool. like her album. It's and not, I'm not for you. You're cool. Mm -hmm. You're cool. Mm -hmm. I think you should uh, check it out. No. Give it a yeah. listen. There's some good tracks. I don't tracks. think that, that cool. she's trying to reach my audience, is what I'm trying <laughs> to share with you. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, I, I understand. <laughs>